Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rob here with another RM Tech tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to install PHP on IIS 7.0 and later. This should work on Windows Server 2008 all the way up to Server 2016. So before I begin, just take note that in this tutorial I am using Windows Server 2016. So what that means is that if you are using another uh, flavor of Windows Server, such as Server 2008 or Windows Server 2012, there may be a few things that might be arranged a little bit differently than they are in this tutorial. The main thing that might be a little bit different is just when you go into the Server Manager and you go to Configure Roles features, etc. Some of those things may be placed in a different location. But if you do enough digging around, uh, if you are on one of those other uh, variations of uh, Windows Server, you should be able to find the things that I pointed out in this tutorial without too much difficulty. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is get on another PC that's not a server and download the files that are needed for this tutorial. So the reason you want to use another computer, and I'm sure you probably know this already, but unless you have another browser installed in Windows Server, Internet Explorer, which is the default browser in the Windows Server operating system, literally blocks everything by default. So uh, that would mean accessing uh, most websites, uh, downloading files, even if you do unblock the website, um, you still have to go through a ton of configuration stuff in order to get it to work like a normal browser, in order to actually get anything done. So the easiest way is just get on another PC and download the files and then copy them over to your server, either using a uh, network file share or a USB thumb drive or something like that. So what we want to do is we want to download PHP, and then we'll also need to download the Microsoft Visual C++ uh, runtime in order to get this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and pop open my browser on my Windows 10 computer and I'm going to download these files. You don't necessarily have to pay attention to the exact links that I'm using because I'm going to place the exact links to these locations in the download section below. So here on the PHP for Windows download page, we want to make sure that we download the one that corresponds to our installation of Windows, either 32-bit or 64. And then we also want to make sure that we download the one that says non-thread safe. So if you did end up using another PC, like I recommended, to download these files, uh, go ahead and get them transferred over to your server, and then place them somewhere convenient like on your desktop or something like that. In this tutorial, I'm putting mine on the desktop, and if you do the same, it'll probably make it a little bit easier to follow along. So after you've done that, we're not touching any of those files right now. Uh, the first thing we want to do is open up the server manager, and then we want to go to manage and then we want to open up the add roles and features wizard now the next thing we want to do is click through here until we arrive at the different roles that we can install on our server we want to look for one called Web Server, IIS, and we want to check the box for that. Once you have done so, 
go ahead and click the next button and keep clicking through until you are able to uh, until you get to the point where you can select what uh, separate roles you want to add to your web server so we're looking for CGI specifically and in server 2016 it is under application development in server 2008 I know for certain it is located somewhere else uh, server 2012 it should be in the same spot uh, under application development even though I'm not 100% certain on that um, server 2008 it should be underneath the if you if you click down the um, uh, the tree you should see different options it should be under there somewhere so if you're on server 2008 uh, that's where you would want to look for that. If you're on server 2016, um, just follow along uh, with what I'm doing in this tutorial right now. So once the installation for Internet Information Services has completed, Go ahead and X out of everything and bring yourself back to the desktop. And then go ahead and pop open your browser and type in HTTP colon backslash backslash localhost. Press enter. And then if everything has installed correctly, you should be presented with a page that indicates your uh, Internet Information Services version number. And if that works, you should be good to go. Go ahead and close out of that. And then the next step is getting on to installing PHP. So this doesn't have to be done in any specific order, but the way I'm going to do it in this tutorial is I'm going to start by installing the Microsoft Visual C++ runtime. So once Microsoft Visual C++ is done with this installation, we're going to move on to installing PHP. So what you want to do is navigate over to the zip folder that contains the PHP files and you want to right click and select extract all and then extract them to a convenient directory. Uh, the directory I'm going to be using in this tutorial is going to be C drive PHP. Once the PHP files are done extracting, go ahead and navigate to the location that you have extracted them to. And then you want to look for a file named php.any.production. Once you have found it, all you want to do is rename the file to php.any. So essentially just rename the file and take the production off the end of it. Okay, so now open up php.ini in Notepad, and we want to change the following. The first thing you want to find is cgi.force underscore redirect. Once you find that, you want to uncomment it, or basically remove the semicolon from the front, uh, and then you want to change the 1 to a 0. Once you have done that, the next thing that we want to look for is fastcgi.impersonate. All you have to do is just uncomment that, and then you can just leave the one. Lastly, we need to set the directory for our extensions. So if you are going to be using anything like um, MySQL or something like that which uh, makes use of one of these extensions in the extension directory you need to set that path so we want to look for extension underscore dir
and once we find it we want to change that path so you could either put a dot slash and then ext to define the extension path as the ext folder um, from the root folder of your PHP installation or you can put the full path such as C drive PHP ext now save your php.ini file and go ahead and open up Internet Information Services under Administrative Tools. Click your server in the left hand pane and then open up handler mappings in the right hand pane and then click add module mapping. Now you will want to add the following for this configuration. For request path you want to type asterisk dot php for module you want to select fast CGI module. For executable, you want to put the path of your PHP installation, which is C drive PHP in this tutorial. So it would be C drive PHP, PHP CGI.exe. And then for the name, you want to put PHP via fast CGI or you could put whatever you want since the name doesn't entirely matter. Click OK and then select your server again in the left hand pane and then open up Fast CGI Settings. Then you want to double click C drive PHP PHP CGI.exe to open it up. Under General, we want to open up the configuration for environment variables, so you want to click that little box on the right hand side with the little dots in it. Under Members, click Add and configure the following. For the name, you want to put PHP underscore max underscore requests, and then for value, put 5000. Click OK to save your changes, exit out of the IIS console, and open up the command prompt. From within the command prompt, type IIS reset to restart IIS to make sure all of the changes take effect. So at this point, PHP is configured and should be working. Good job, but wait, we want to do one last thing to test it out, so just bear with me for a little bit longer. So what we want to do next 
is just code a very simple, very small PHP file that we can open up in our browser to ensure that this is working correctly. So what we want to do is open up Windows Explorer and navigate to the root of the default website for IIS. Most likely it will be C drive init pub slash www root. We want to create a new file and name it phpinfo.php. Alternatively, you can download this in the download section. I've put a uh, pre-configured file for you in there, so if that's easier, you can do that. Uh, if you want to do this manually, uh, just keep following me in the next step. Once you have created the file, open it in Notepad and type the following. Now you can save the file, and now it's time to test it out. So go ahead and open up your browser once again, and this time navigate to http colon backslash backslash localhost backslash phpinfo.php. If all is working correctly, you should be presented with a page that displays information about your PHP installation. If so, you are good to go and ready to move on to deploying your PHP website in Windows, such as WordPress or Drupal, uh, anything like that. Uh, if for some reason this did not work, please make sure to go through every step very carefully to ensure you haven't missed anything. Uh, if you've done that and it's still not working or something still doesn't seem right, please don't hesitate to contact me and ask for help. So that's it, guys. I hope this worked for you. Uh, and if it did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, feel free to drop by and leave a comment, anything like that. Greatly appreciated. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.